Still, knowing this president and his penchant for hyperbole, he'll probably say the state of our union is stronger than it's ever been before in our nation's long history, thanks to him. Knowing this president, he will rely on distortions and made-up facts, mislead the American people. The only question about the president's state of the union, how often will he distort? How often will he make up facts? How often will he resort to fear and divisiveness? And if past states of the union are prologue, too, far too many times will he do that. Knowing this president, he'll then make some bold new promises and not even make an attempt to fulfill them. The man has so little integrity that a promise that he makes at the State of the Union means nothing the next morning. The list of broken or empty promises is long. The gap between the President's rhetoric in the State of the Union and reality is cavernous. Every President uses the State of the Union to set goals, but few have done it so cheaply and indifferently. Many of those promises were discarded mere weeks after they were uttered. So forgive me, but if we Democrats and the American people have real doubt about any promise that the President makes, real doubt about him following through or really meaning it, how can we not? Perhaps even more empty than his policy promises are President Trump's calls for unity each year. It seems every year the President wakes up and discovers the desire for unity on the morning of the State of the Union. Then the President spends the other 364 days of the year dividing us and sowing a state of disunion. Whether that's using public servants as political pawns, the President's false equivalence after Charlottesville, his attacks on the federal judiciary, the free press and the rule of law, or his near daily Twitter provocations. The blatant hypocrisy of this President calling for unity is that he is one of the chief reasons Americans feel so divided now. It's logical to believe, based on his past speeches, that the President's speech will ignore the reality of his administration, the reality of our economy, the reality of our world, and instead weave a web of fiction. If past speeches are an indication, the President will be in his own bubble. Democrats are not focused on the President's rhetoric. We're focused on fighting for workers in this unequal economy, fighting for American families struggling to avoid health care, fighting to bring a measure of accountability to the, this government, and fighting for a foreign policy that reflects both our interests